So guys, I figured that, you know, I have different viewers from different areas of the world, and not everyone right now is having fall. So I wanted to do something really fun, really pretty for um, the, you know, warmer climates that watch me, you know, Africa and Australia. Australia's in springtime now, so I thought this would be fun to do something um, a little out of norm for, you know, my East Coast American uh, season. Okay, so this is the one that I did. I'll be posting some pictures on my blog and hopefully at the end of this video and I hope you guys enjoy it. Bye! Okay guys, this is what you're going to need for this nail art tutorial. A dotting tool, um, a detailed brush if you need one, a clear, um, a sparkly, shimmery color, and hallucinate. And that's wet and wild. Um, a purple striper polish. This is in Plum Luck. A deeper purple, almost um, like a rosy purple. And that is So Rich, So Pretty by MAC. And a green polish. This is a Luxury Lime Cream 110A from NYC. Then, just to jazz up your nail design, I'm going to be using rhinestones that I got from BF Beauty. Um, and then I'm going to be using some butterflies, uh, different, two different butterflies from the butterfly and floral um, ring that I got from BF Beauties. Okay, so first I applied Max So Rich, So Pretty um, nail polish onto the nails and I let them and I let that dry. Next, I'm going to be taking a color from NYC called Luxury Lime Cream, which actually has a little bit of a pearl to it. And I'm going to be placing this on different parts of each nail. The thumb is going to be a bigger swatch of the green. It's basically going to come basically half. Okay, I just figured out that if I put the camera a little bit higher, it's not as blurring. So I have it on a tripod, of course, but it just wasn't high enough. So, and because this lime on the thumb is so much, the um, butterfly is actually going to be sitting in the lime. Because the um, thumb is such a large area, I'm going to put one purple one here. Put that one down. And because these are definitely, you know, have some height to them, just make sure you press the edges down. And of course, you're going to seal it all in with a top coat, but pressing the edges down, especially when it's on a wet paint that you just put down, is really going to help it stay. And then I'm going to put a white um, butterfly also. And the white butterfly is going to live a little bit further, like... Um, down on the side. Okay. Like so. Sorry. Maybe it dried a little bit. So, can you use clear nail polish? Okay. Then I'm going to be taking the striper polish and just aligning where the two other colors meet. Okay, so now I'm just going to be adding rhinestones along that line of purple that I just put down. And for the thumb, I'm going to go to I'm going to do the complete line. 